Welcome to your English Fluency Teacher. We have a special video for you today that will help you listen better and speak English more confidently. First, we'll listen to a short conversation. Pay close attention to the words and what the characters are saying. Next, we'll learn some new words and phrases that you heard in the story. This will help you understand more English. Finally, we'll do a special activity called shadowing to practice speaking English. This is where you listen and repeat what the characters say. It's a great way to practice speaking English. Are you ready? Let's get started. A job interview. Good morning, David. Please, come in and have a seat. Good morning, Ms. Lee. Thank you for seeing me today. No problem at all. So, David, your resume says you have experience in customer service. Can you tell me a bit about that? Absolutely. I worked at a local bookstore for two years. I was responsible for helping customers find the books they were looking for, answering their questions about the store, and processing payments. Great! That sounds relevant to this position. In this role, you would be working in our administrative department and providing general support to the team. You'd be answering phones, filing documents, and keeping our office supplies stocked up. That sounds interesting. I'm a fast learner and I'm good at organizing things. I'm confident I can pick up on the tasks quickly. We value strong communication skills as well. How would you describe your communication style? I'm a clear and concise communicator. I believe in getting straight to the point and following up if I need additional information. Those are all great qualities, David. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me about yourself? Yes, I'm a highly motivated team player. I'm always eager to learn and go the extra mile to help out my colleagues. Thank you, David. We'll be in touch soon to let you know our decision. Thank you for your time, Ms. Lee. Now, let's talk about the words and phrases they used that will make you sound even better in English. First, let's talk about the phrase stocked up. The phrase stocked up can be explained as having enough of something ready for future use, especially referring to supplies or items. For example, I went to the grocery store yesterday and stocked up on canned goods and pasta. So now I have enough food to last for a few weeks. Next is the phrase pick up. Pick up means to learn something quickly. For example, I picked up some Spanish during my travels. Our third phrase is follow up. The phrase follow up can be defined as to take additional action or continue with something that has been started or discussed earlier. For example, I'll follow up with you when I have more information. And now the English idiom go the extra mile. Go the extra mile means to make a special effort or do more than what is expected in order to achieve something or help someone. For example, to succeed in school, it's important to study hard and go the extra mile by doing extra reading and practice exercises. Now, let's watch the conversation again and shadow or repeat what the characters say. This is a great way to improve English speaking abilities. Repeat the lines of the conversation out loud and try your best to sound like the native speaker. Good morning, David. Please come in and have a seat. Good morning, Ms. Lee. Thank you for seeing me today. No problem at all. So, David, 
Your resume says you have experience in customer service. Can you tell me a bit about that? Absolutely. I worked at a local bookstore for two years. I was responsible for helping customers find the books they were looking for. Answering their questions about the store and processing payments. Great! That sounds relevant to this position. In this role, you would be working in our administrative department. And providing general support to the team. You'd be answering phones, filing documents. and keeping our office supplies stocked up. That sounds interesting. I'm a fast learner and I'm good at organizing things. I'm confident I can pick up the tasks quickly. We value strong communication skills as well. How would you describe your communication style? I'm a clear and concise communicator. I believe in getting straight to the point. and follow up if I need additional information. Those are all great qualities, David. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me about yourself? Yes. I'm a highly motivated team player. I'm always eager to learn and go the extra mile to help my colleagues. Thank you, David. We'll be in touch soon to let you know our decision. Thank you for your time, Ms. Lee. Great job! To fully benefit from this video, we recommend watching it several times throughout the week. Each time you watch, your vocabulary and speaking skills will improve. If this video has been helpful for you, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching!